My name's Rick Levine, and I went to school at UC Irvine back in the early 80s. Got a degree in computer science. I was lucky enough after that to have a career mostly in video games. For me, it gave me the confidence and the, the knowledge that I needed to know how to learn you know, the new things I would need to know, and also to understand the connections between technologies. Not just computer science, but I also did some hardware lab work here, artificial intelligence. At the time, whatever was the latest thing in computer science, uh, they were teaching here even back then in, in the early 80s. I particularly did a game called Microsurgeon for a game company called Imagic. The game was released in 1982, 1983, and it was considered the first video game related to healthcare. At least a few hundred thousand people purchased that game. Um, so I had the joy of meeting people that I've worked with uh, or met working with over the years who actually played that game as a child. One of the co-creators of the show uh, Game of Thrones is a writer, and he played Microsurgeon as a kid. Well, um, I, I think uh, specifically video games or creative arts in general, I think they need to be prepared for number one, loving what they do, but also number two, being flexible so that they can stay in the business and, and enjoy the different aspects of the business. I essentially want to get across the idea that in order to have a long career in any creative field you want to be in, especially video games, um, because it is a cyclical industry and technology moves so fast, you want to try and stay flexible. And the way that I stayed flexible was through my interests. I have many different interests. Uh, I found different job opportunities that I really enjoyed in various fields. And so when the video game businesses were not doing well, I found other things to do. And then when things got you know, really hot again, I got back into it. Tried to keep up with the technology, which is not easy to do because uh, as you might think you know a lot about where it is today, it's a fast moving target. Well, I'm working, I'm working on a game and right now the doing games for mobile is a lot more like what I'm used to and what I used to do than you know the, the big company you know type games where you literally have hundreds of uh, engineers and artists and others working on the, on the game. Uh, and so it's something I can do by myself or with another person. Uh, and so I uh, am I'm working on a, solit a new kind of solitaire game that uh, I'm almost finished with and uh, we'll probably release that uh, hopefully sometime later this year. Uh, for, for mobile devices.